Welcome to another COVID vlog. Adam here. I'm going to talk today about inner and outer display types. It just keeps coming up in my day to day. You know, I'll set something to display grid and then I have this epiphany about what happened. When you use display block or display grid, you are setting two different display types. You're setting an outer display type and an inner display type. Consider the word uh, that you've used before, display inline dash block. Inline block is an articulation of the outer and inner participation of the block layout that you want to be in. I just want to talk about these briefly. Hopefully we'll see if I can break it down and make it easy to understand. Let me sip this Joe and see if it gives me the energy I need to proceed. Ah, that's tasty. It's gonna, here's a metaphor. I just love metaphors. I think they help us understand a lot of this stuff. Today's metaphor is let's say uh, you are a block um, and you'll, hear me say this a lot. I like thinking about um, content blocks as people because they have personalities, they are dynamic and differentiate, they come from around the world, blah, blah, blah. So imagine you're a content block. Now you've been asked to uh, stand in a line with other humans. So what you do is you, uh, you and the other humans all align and um, you sort of establish your, your box, right? This is almost like your bubble. You could think about your outer display type a little bit like your bubble, but it's more about how do I fit in with the rest of these humans? You know, there might be a, a container or a place that you all are, are supposed to line up and you'll have uh, somebody, usually the parent container is setting its inner display type, is trying to direct and orchestrate its children. That director will come through and look at all the humans that are in a row here and look at and make sure that their boxes are all lined up. Orchestrator is looking at your outside box. Okay, so we're in this line. Um, our box has been established essentially. Our box is also unique and dynamic to us, right? Uh, my box is different than the size of your box. Uh, and this is the intrinsic value that we bring into this space is, is our body. This is our outer box. So if this is our outer display type, let's say for example, that orchestrator that's lining us all up, set us up as display flex, and then just said align items and uh, centered us all, right? Wouldn't that be cool if you could do that to humans? Anyway, okay, so we have this visual where we've been all set up in a line. Now, um, that parent made a box, and then that box directed a bunch of child items into a space. Those child items each brought their own box size. Now, as a, a member in this grid, I can change my own display type, right? I can be display grid. And what display grid says, in my outer box as um, a block, and then my inner uh, is going to be display grid. It's a flow route. It's a new route for items to flow. And so what that lets us do become our own orchestrator in our own box. We have a space that we hold as, as our own element in this list. And by setting display grid, articulating that we want to be a block. So we want to participate in the outer flow as a normal block, but we want to have our own inner flow of grid type. So this is a small, uh, hopefully meaningful metaphor to help you think about how do I as a content item fit into the rest of the space with other items and then how do I direct my own items and and articulate my own space inside of the box um, which could be another very very dynamic way to display right because if I'm display grid I now have a way to change all of my you know items that are inside my box into a straight line or into a line or into a matrix right there's all sorts of options but I just really find that um this thinking creeps into my day to day. So here's a good example. I put position absolute on something. Now position absolute is very much about my outer box and how is my outer, all of my edges or how do they fit with the rest of the con content that it's alongside of. But then you inside of a uh, position absolute element, you can transform yourself. So there's a, there's a classic centering strategy around this where you use position absolute, top left 50, 50, and then you translate X and Y a negative 50, 50. You can go look that up. But what I like about this uh, example is, is that the absolute is the outside box and the transform changes the inside box. Right, the transform is changing the inner elements position, which has nothing to do with that outer box. But that outer box was articulated in the same place that we articulated the inner box styles. What I find is that we are often um, interacting with the outer and the inner box without necessarily thinking about that that's what we're doing. And I'm finding that maybe it's just because I want to teach this stuff that the more I'm understanding the outer and inner box, I'm finding I have additional layout strengths. I'm understanding the way that things are working a little bit better. And so I hope this helps you too. So as you're going throughout your day and you're looking at, at how you're working, think about padding versus margin. Which box is that affecting and how can you change 
the way that those boxes get affected is we have a border box and other properties that can help us manage our outer box and our inner box and the way that these sort of uh, how do we participate in the outer uh, spectrum of like we're in a, we're an item in a uh, list of DOM nodes versus how do we want to control our own DOM nodes. So it's just kind of fun. Every once in a while, I'll write uh, some CSS where I've got a lot of outer display styles and a lot of inner display styles, and I'll look at them both and be like, this is really cool. I, I can't believe that this is so succinct that I can participate in such a rich layout and have so much strength. And I think it's because of this inner and outer box relationship that we have. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for you, and I hope you have a nice rest of the day. Uh, the COVID news has been really, really grim uh, and depressing. I hope you all are feeling well, um, that your loved ones are safe, and I, I don't even know what else to say other than goodbye. Thanks for watching this video on inner and outer display types for CSS. Thanks.